This is Jason with Denworks. So I got something really neat today. We've never had one of these. Very, very cute. 1990 Nissan Sunny little pickup. This thing is just awesome. I've always wanted to have one of these at our shop. And here you go. And very rare. You know, they didn't import these to the US. So you could get them in other places. So this one was imported out of Japan. A few years ago has a uh, Oregon title everything's everything's clean it's just a really neat rig so we're gonna have it up on bring a trailer auctions it is gonna be no reserve and it's to die for little uh, 1.2 liter with a four-speed manual and believe it or not it has working AC I'm selling this for a friend of ours um, I've known him for years and he's really into Nissan uh, Japanese rigs and it was a static when he got it and so he turn it loose. So we'll do a little walk around and uh, I'll talk about it, show you different things about what goes on the fenders, on the fenders but it's, it's really neat. So it is going to be no reserve. If you need help selling something, go to our website. It's Denworks, D-E-N. W-E-R-K-S, and if you like the way we represent things. Um, we like to show everything. Uh, we don't want any smoke and mirrors. I won't be able to catch everything because it's a car, but go over the comments in the auction, go over the pictures, go over um, the video, give us a call, come and take a look at it. And if you got any other questions or I didn't see something, just yell at me, I'll try my best. And there we go. It is a uh, Oregon title. It is sold as is, no warranty, express or implied. Um, we're dealers here in Oregon. We sold 300 and, oh, I don't know, 72 rigs on Bring a Trailer. So excited to bring this uh, to you. One of the first things I like about it is I love the grill. I actually love the style of that. Very Japanese, very European looking, but really neat overall the bumper you can see is a little lower on the right hand side probably just needs to be straightened no brakes in the grill though sometimes people convert these over to the round headlights the vintage ones um, and the grill so you can do that if you wanted the hood looks good it has been repainted I think most of us re been repainted there might the hood might be original but I've seen a lot of repaint on there's a lot of dings and stuff but the big thing if you know Japanese cars uh, they can uh, get a lot of rust and this thing is really clean underneath and it is not rusty at all the mileage on it is in kilometers and 31783 I don't believe it's rolled over. I know they have rules in Japan. Um, it, it could have, so uh, I don't have any documentation on it, but I know they have some kind of 45,000 mile rule or something, and then they have to do something with it or something. But it runs really good. AC works, clutch feels good, brakes feel good. This rotor over here has a groove on it, um, and I don't actually know where to get rotors and stuff for this kind of stuff, so. Um, it stops fine and everything like that. I'm just letting you know there's a, a groove on it um, that I noticed when I had it up on the on the lift there. But the body is nice, but you'll see dings, dents, little scratches and stuff. You can see some imperfections there. It's kind of nice to have this stripe. Tires are from 2008, the date code on it. So you'll probably need new tires for it there. Um, what size are those babies? Where's it at? Look on the front. Oh, 155 R12s. The little, little truck tire, little Bridgestones. But if you look down the side, looks good, you know, but you will see some little dings and little dents and, and that kind of sort. 
on it. So we'll uh, show you the interior real quick while we're here. Around the channel, looks good. Roof, roof gutters look nice. This would look really cool with the canvas top on the, on the top. Kind of like that. I had a Morris Minor little pickup, 1960. This would look really cool on there with something like that. Let's take a look at the interior. Dash looks good, except there's a crack right there. You can see the radio's not working. This is the on and off. Sorry, turn my camera off. This is an on, the on and off. You push that, missing the knob. There's the AC transmission. You can see some burns in the seat. It does need a new rubber floor mat. This is in here, but it's missing. Um, but there's the floor mat in there. Everything looks pretty decent underneath here. Gauges are working as far as I can tell. All the lights, reverse lights and everything work as well. But headliner's nice. I think that works too. Horn. See the door panel. Looks good. Roll up windows. You can see some of the rubber and stuff like that needs to be replaced. Door gasket around here. Motor overall fairly clean inside. A lot of dings on the tailgate. You can see there, sunny. 500 kgs. Here's the bed. I haven't seen any accident damage on it. Everything looks really clean. No crinkles or anything. Let's see down here. Bed looks really nice actually. Doesn't look like they hold too much stuff in it. I like these old school tailgates actually, with these latches. Take a look at this side real fast. Look down the side. Again, it has dings, little scratches, and you know, some paint, a lot of paint imperfections and stuff on it. But again, you can see not a lot of body damage, but it does have its stuff, but it's not rusty, which is amazing. No bubbles around here. A lot of fish eye, or there's some fish eye stuff, some stuff in the paint, and some orange peel on it. A little ding right there. Take a look at this side. Take a look at the door jam here. <clears throat> inside the, the door here. See some burn marks around on the shifter there. And this has a rip in it as well. I'll go ahead and uh, start it. See how make sure it's in neutral. So pop the hood first. There's a little lever right here. Rod. Oh, there it is. There we go. There's the prop rod there. Engine's original. You know, actually really clean in here overall. But no accident damage in here. Very, very nice. Aprons look clean.
ID. These numbers are worn. There's the other ID on it as well. And you'll see close-ups of all this in the auction with pictures, so. But everything's fairly clean underneath here. I'll go ahead and fire it up here real fast. Here it runs uh, nice and smooth. trying to reach under there for a little throttle action, but you'll see it driving. I can't reach my hand underneath there where it is, but it does rev up good and, and everything. I'll, uh, actually, I'll try to reach in here for you. Oh, good thing it's on this side. Gas pedals all the way over on the right instead of over, you know, to start the, on the passenger side. So they're actually really fun to drive. If, if you're actually not used to a car like this, you know, the transmission is the same first, second, third, and fourth. So that's not backwards or anything like that. And your pedals are the same too, you know, clutch left, brake center. It's just getting used to being on that side of the road and shifting with your left hand. So but you can see some of the gaskets and stuff. It needs a lot of that kind of stuff overall. So hopefully that gives you a good look. It's a nice little rig. It is rare. And you're hardly ever gonna see one of these at a car show or if you pull up at Home Depot. Everyone's always kind of shocked. So, super cool. Check out the auction. It is no reserve. And the top bit's gonna get it. Thanks for taking a peek. some stuff in the sunny I'm going up a little hill hill here I'm in uh, third gear but I'll switch to fourth gear it's a four speed just wanted to show you a couple things in general the AC is on right now you can hear it turn off and on and it is really cool in here I mean it's cold that AC works really good um, the radio as I mentioned before it's not playing I don't have the you can push the button in and out but it's not uh, turning on cigarette lighter doesn't work I haven't figured out the heater I'm gonna double check that for you I mean the controls work but I don't see a fan thing so I'll double check that you can see the speedometers working and then that brake light it stays on all the time whether the uh, brakes on or off wipers right here and then the uh, headlight switch is down there below but everything else is working in here in general you can see the fuel gauge uh, temp gauge all that's working so overall pretty good shape you can see the glove box there so we'll just cruise around and uh, show you some more stuff